It is over at Wrigley Field in Chicago, and for the fifth time in franchise history, the New York Mets are heading to the World Series. As we welcome you, it's Mets Playoffs Live. It's presented by Chevy. Gary Apple sitting alongside Bobby Valentine. Nelson Figueroa is here. Gary Cohen. Keith Hernandez going to join us in just a little bit. Our post-game coverage just getting underway. What I'll let you know here, uh, due to MLB restrictions, we cannot show video from the game or the celebration until TBS signs off the air. But once they do, we will have complete uh, video from inside the Victorious Clubhouse plus complete reaction from the Mets. I begin with you, Bobby Valentine. Last time the Mets were in the World Series, you were the manager, and that was 15 years ago. How did we get here? With great great uh, talent, with great guts, with uh, a finish the last two months that, uh, you know, is, will go down in history. And uh, with players playing a little over their head, a little from their heart, and making it happen every minute that they're, they've been out there. We talked about it being a storybook season this whole while. And every time you thought the storybook could possibly be over, the story continued with someone else stepping up and being the hero night in and night out. Look at tonight. Lucas Duda was dead in the water. A guy you were hoping yep. could get hot at the right time. Boom. Comes out with a big three-run home run to put the Mets on the board there and really help them relax and ease into it where it wasn't a lot of tension. They knew that what they came to do, and they continued to add on key members and forget about <laughs> it. The Daniel Murphy story, no one will forget about this in the rest of their lives. Well, Daniel Murphy went yard again. That's six consecutive games. He has hit a home run, and that is a new playoff record, Bobby Valentine. He's the MVP, by the way, of oh. this series as we get a look now at this historic run for Daniel Murphy uh, through the postseason. I'd have to say that was a net positive. I'm not sure, but he really, he really <laughs> did, did do a spectacular job. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. It's time to stop disbelieving. It's time to stop doubting, and it's time to start appreciating what this team did and what Dan, Daniel did in particular. To see the Mets that are, came through and contributed, you see David Wright, you see Daniel Murphy, the long-standing Mets, the guys that have been here through the lean years, to see them have an opportunity to have this, this whole core. And it's not necessarily that they haven't had the talent before in the last nine years, but you look at the people they talk about, the character, and how they each pulled for each other, even when you know it was a mix and match, and how could you play every, you couldn't play every day, you had to find your time, play your way onto the, into the lineup, and these guys did it, and just, I mean, hats off to the whole team. So Daniel Murphy, he had four hits in the game again, including that eighth inning home run, and so as I mentioned, it is the fifth time the Mets are heading to the World Series. They went, of course, back in 1969, 73, 86, 2000, and now in 2015. What an improbable story this team has written midway through the season. They couldn't score a run. And here they are against the Cubs team. They lost seven consecutive games, too, during the regular season. They sweep away the Cubs, and they wait now for the winner of the Blue Jays and the Kansas City Royals. Gary Cohen, Keith Hernandez. This is certainly a story that the Mets have written, and it continues. It continues to go down into the annals of franchise history. This was a truly extraordinary accomplishment. This is a team that was a 500 team back in July. They were given an opportunity because the team they were supposed to be chasing didn't play the way they were supposed to. Sandy Alderson gave them a chance by making the trades that he needed to. Their young pitching ahead of its time, now going to be pitching in a World Series, and one player putting himself in the record books with an extraordinary accomplishment that nobody possibly could have foreseen. Daniel Murphy with a performance for the ages. Just an extraordinary accomplishment by this team. And, and as our buddy Ron Darling said right at the tail of the, the TBS broadcast right before we came on, the Mets are playing their best baseball of the season, and what a time to be doing that. Well, this is truly the second coming of the amazing Mets. This is an amazing Met team. And I must say, this is so extraordinary. Who would have th thought about this? And uh, you've got to give Sandy Alderson lots of credit. Let's not forget all the pressure that Sandy Alderson was under in July to make a move. The team could not score runs. They were dead in the water, even with this pitching. They were going nowhere, about to play meaningless games. Sandy held back, held back. And uh, made the right moves, the four trades that he made that brought the four players here, particularly Cespedes, obviously, who had an incredible two months. 
and pretty much what Daniel Murphy has done in a much more condensed period, but a much more powerful, important period in the playoffs. Uh, for this club to do what they did, this is so extraordinary. Uh, it, 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 like Gary, it's historic. Uh, it is just beyond the, and anything I've ever dreamed of, and I have I witnessed it, so I have to believe it. This is unbelievable. It's just a great day in Met history. You know, baseball history is filled with players who have risen to the occasion, who have done the extraordinary in the postseason, who have outperformed any expectations. But what Daniel Murphy did over the last <laughs> couple of weeks, hitting home runs in six consecutive postseason games, something nobody had ever done before in history. And by the way, no Met has ever hit six home runs in, uh, hit home runs in six consecutive games, even in the regular season. For Murph to do that and put him, his name indelibly into baseball history, regardless of what happens from here forward, is just such a monumental accomplishment, it's almost hard to, to, to fathom. You know what I mean? Well, it's not like he got a, 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 a multiple game hitting streak or X amount of extra base hits. They were home runs. And I don't care what happens. You've got to hit the ball out of the ballpark. You can get a fat pitch. You've still got to hit it, and you've still got to lift it. It's a spherical ball and a cylindrical bat. It, you've got to square it up and hit it just right. And uh, just what a terrific offensive series for Murph. Also ran the base as well. Uh, just fabulous. And with Lucas Duda tonight, coming out uh, out of the shadows and having a big game. It's such a positive going forward uh, where we don't know who's going to win the Nash, the American League, but it looks like probably Kansas City. But it's more important that Duda had a big game also for the Mets going forward. You know, the Mets will have plenty of time to celebrate. They won't start their World Series play in Kansas City or Toronto until Tuesday. But there's plenty of time now to chew on what we've just seen and and you know you hear all the time about athletes being in the zone and you've been there yourself you've had some extraordinary moments in your career but have you ever seen an athlete be in the zone the way Daniel Murphy has been over these last couple of weeks I have not uh, the closest thing to it was Cespedes the last two months of the season when he hit the 17 home runs and he carried the team on his back uh, to, to the to the to the division flag uh, but in a postseason where every game is of importance and uh, Murph getting the big hits, if you just think the Dodger series, uh, Bobby mentioned, uh, Valentine mentioned, if you don't get the Utley, uh, if you get the Utley call for interference, they may have swept the Dodgers and swept the whole playoffs, the two rounds going into the World Series. Uh, but what Murph has done is extraordinary because they beat top flight pitchers. They beat the top pitchers in the National League all in contention for the Cy Young. And they were all hard fought games and close games. And Murph got the, I can't, not the base hits, the home runs to win the game. It's incredible. It really is. And, and, and you know, Gary, uh, Bobby said net positive. I'd say I'd take it to the next level. I would say super <laughs> positive. <laughs> Murphy's done the last couple of weeks. What, a, what an accomplishment. Well, it just came out of nowhere. I mean, this is a guy who has never done what he's doing right now. In fact, nobody has ever done what, what Daniel Murphy has done in the postseason with the six consecutive home runs in, in six games. So, so what sort of pitches, Bobby? I mean, they tried everything to get him out, and, and they couldn't get him out. They tried everything. He took tough pitches. He fouled off tough pitches. But remember, he got three other bullets tonight. It wasn't just a one-swing home run. He hit bullets all night long. Here, the, that's a 96 mile an hour fastball that leaked over the plate a little. It's not like a pitch you hit to center field for a home run. It's like a pitch that maybe you get a base hit on. He hit it 400 feet. It's absolutely spectacular. You talk about somebody like Daniel Murphy, and he's uh, known as a spray hitter. He can hit it to all fields, but he has pull power. When he misses with a pitch and it's inside, he can turn and burn on it, but this is different. This is 416 feet away, dead center on a 96 mile an hour pitch, out over the plate, and, and like uh, Bobby said, to boot, he went back to the Murphy that we all know, that can shoot the ball the other way, hit line drives the other way, even when they were trying to get him out, he was getting on base and may, uh, being able to do a lot of other things besides hit home runs. Well, we saw his numbers there at the bottom of the screen in the playoffs, but what about in this series? They are even better, hitting over 500 in this series against the Chicago Cubs, a team that, by the way, has been swept now in a, in a seven-game series for the first time since back in 1938. So these are MVP numbers right here, Bob, hitting 529 with the four home runs, six RBIs in the six 
runs scored. And, and Gary was talking about the historical nature of this. Can you ever remember anything quite like this? Uh, I can't, uh, and, and I don't want to. I want to just think of this as being the most special series I've ever witnessed, the most special performance of anybody I've ever seen in a baseball uniform in my lifetime, and now I've done that for a little while. My hat's off. I take everything off because I can't even imagine doing well. Okay, I won't do that. I can't imagine what you've done, Daniel. This, I, I know it's coming up on midnight, but this is... No, no, we're not. Okay, it's, it's, it's a, a PG. family show. PG, it's a PG okay. Show. Let's make sure we... I don't know. Uh, what about the Mets pitching in this series? Because they dominated. They dominated the Cubs, outscored them 21-8. to eight. They never trailed in this series. Uh, certainly Harvey got the tone set, and then Syndergaard and DeGrom. Uh, Matt's four and two-thirds inning tonight. But then Cologne came in and ended up getting the win. I mean, the Mets dominated uh, pitching-wise in this series. All the way around from starters to relievers to familiar being as locked down and shut down as you can be at the back end of the bullpen. You have to remember that mixture. You have the power arms of uh, the starters. Then you have Cologne being able to finesse and use his two-seamer and his, his, uh, his run on his pitches to get out. You also have Jonathan Neese from the left side. Had a big out in this series. Reed, Addison Reed started to catch on uh, towards the end. Now he's pitched two solid games in a row. Clipper is still a little bit of a, a question mark there, but he worked his way out of it. Didn't create a bigger situation than it had to be than the two runs, but everything's clicking on all cylinders. This team's on an all-time high, and that confidence starts with the starting pitching.